Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reacted Thursday to the Russian strike that hit an assisted living facility in Sumy, saying that Russia could not have been unaware that this nursing home for the elderly is not a military base. In just this one day alone so far Russian forces have already used nearly 90 guided aerial bombs targeting our cities and Ukrainian positions, said Zelensky in his nightly video address. Ukrainian National Police reported at least one person killed and 12 people injured, some of them in a serious condition. Zelensky also mentioned the ongoing operation in Russia's Kursk region, saying that Ukrainian forces already managed to divert around 40,000 Russian troops to this area. Russia не могла не знати, що цей пансіонат для літніх людей не військова база, не військовий об'єкт. За одну сьогоднішню добу на цей час російські війська застосували вже майже 90 керованих авіабомб по наших містах, по українських позиціях. Обов'язково відповімо російській армії на цей терор. Відчутно відповімо. Зараз силам оборони України вдалося зменшити штурмовий потенціал окупанта на Донеччині. Ситуація залишається вкрай складною. Важкі бої щоденно. Кураховський напрямок, Покровський. Але максимум робимо для стійкості наших бойових бригад. І окремо Операция в Курской области. На цей напрямок уже удалось відволікти близько 40 тысяч российских військовых. Тривают наши активные действия. Есть и пополнение обменного фонда для нас, для Украины. И все это важные вещи, которые влияют на загальную ситуацию в войне. An explosive device found in the parking lot of one of Lebanon's biggest hospitals was detonated by Lebanese army personnel on Wednesday as the small Mediterranean country grapples with attacks targeting electronic devices. The army placed the device in a hole to safely detonate it after it was found in the parking lot of the American University of Beirut Medical Center. The controlled explosion took place as Lebanon was rocked by a second wave of exploding devices. Walkie-talkies and solar equipment exploded in Beirut and multiple parts of Lebanon on Wednesday in an apparent second wave of attacks targeting electronic devices. At least nine people were killed and more than 300 people wounded in the second wave, the health ministry said. This comes a day after hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah blew up, state media and Hezbollah officials said. The new blasts hit a country still roiling with confusion and anger after Tuesday's pager bombings which appeared to be a complex Israeli attack targeting Hezbollah members that caused civilian casualties, too. Tuesday's bombings killed at least 12 people, including two children, and wounded some 2,800 others. The attacks, which were widely believed to be carried out by Israel targeting Hezbollah, have hiked fears that the two-side simmering conflict could escalate into all-out war. The second wave also deepens concern over the potentially indiscriminate casualties caused in the attacks, in which hundreds of blasts went off wherever the holder of the pager happened to be, in homes, cars, at grocery stores and in cafes, often with family or bystanders nearby. About 25 children and adults were injured Wednesday when a wagon carrying them overturned at a western Wisconsin apple orchard. The children, parents and chaperones were on a field trip to the orchard in Lafayette when one of two wagons being pulled by a tractor turned sideways and rolled over, Chippewa County Sheriff Travis Hakes told reporters. Hakes said the tractor was traveling at a low speed when the wagon rolled over while going downhill. Three people suffered critical injuries, while injuries to five others were considered serious. 
Authorities didn't say how many of the injured were children. The elementary school age children attend a school in Eau Claire. Lafayette is northeast of Eau Claire. So during a field trip today in the town of Lafayette, several children along with parents and chaperones were on a wagon ride through an apple orchard. It was off public roadway. During the time, one of the wagons began to lose control as it was descending on a hill. They attempted to stop the wagon from descending down the hill sideways and it abruptly overturned. When the wagon overturned, there were multiple injuries to both children and adults. There were three patients transported with life-threatening injuries, five more patients transported with serious injuries, nine more additional patients were also transported by ambulance, and at least one patient was transported via helicopter. Some of the patients were transported in personal vehicles. They were small children, elementary age, The children were extremely brave, very resilient, extremely brave. I'm very proud of every one of those kiddos and the chaperones. Did a fantastic job. No, no, not low speed. There were two wagons, one overturned. 